Hi everyone. In this video we are going to discuss about concept of Azure temporary disk. If you want to go through the complete course, you can purchase these courses from my website that is techlearning.spy.com. All the information is given in the description. If you want to check out the course content, just click on course and click on preview. So left hand side you can see all of the course contents. Other than individual courses, course packages are also available where you can find out the decent discount on these courses. Let's get back to our so topic. In this virtual machine, when I created this one, one thing I want to highlight, then when you go to this PC and you go to device and drive list, you have a C drive. In this drive, you have your operating systems. Okay. So all of your operating system files is deployed on C drive. And other than that, Azure has given me a temporary storage. Okay. And what is the size of this temporary storage in this case? You can see 15.9 GB has been given me and temporary storage is written. So why temporary storage is written on it? When you open this uh, drive, there is one notepad file has been kept by the Azure. And if you open this file here, some disclaimer has been written. There is a warning here. And this warning says that this is a temporary disk. Any data stored on this disk is subject to loss and there is no way to recover it. Please do not use this disk for storing any personal or application data. So what happens in this case, suppose if you store any data on it, okay, and you st stop your virtual machine and start it once again. So what will happen, this data will be lost. Whatever you have saved inside this temporary storage, everything will be lost. Now from where I get this temporary storage that we need to understand. So you can try it. Uh, you can create one folder and uh, put some file in that folder and then stop your virtual machine and start it again. When you come back here, you will see that your folder will be deleted. This happened when you stop and start it. But when you restart your virtual machine and in that case, um, uh, your data will be here. There is no impact on data in case of restart. But when you stop and start it, data will be lost here. But still, Azure says that we do not take any guarantee of this data, which you have kept in temporary storage. It may lose any time. And in that condition, we cannot recover it. Okay. This is a clear cut instruction or warning from the Azure end so that they are not responsible for this data recovery and nobody can actually recover it. Okay. So how we get this temporary storage? What is the logic behind this temporary storage? So come back on this PPT. Okay. Uh, this is your virtual machine. When I created my virtual machine VM1, you can see that there was two drive. One is OS disk, that is my C drive. And the second was the temporary disk, that D letter, D drive was assigned on that. Okay. If you, in case of Windows, you will see it as a D drive, but in case of the Linux operating system, it will be mounted like this slash dev slash SDB one. Fine. So this is your uh, temporary storage. So how actually it is get aligned in the backend. So we all know that whenever we create any virtual machine, where exactly this virtual machine is getting deployed. This is getting deployed on a physical server in the Azure data center. Let's say that in Azure data center, this is a physical server here. Okay. And on this physical server, you have RAM, you have CPU, you have the hard disk. Okay. On that physical server, actually this virtual machine has been deployed. Okay. So we also know that when we are creating a virtual machine, because virtual machine also need uh, virtual RAM, virtual CPU, so this virtual machine is getting all of these resources from the physical server. Okay. This is getting from the physical server with the help of the hypervisor. So hypervisor is actually assigning or extracting the physical resources into the virtual resources. Now, what about this C drive and D drive? Okay. RAM and CPU, I told you that from the physical server, you are getting it. But what about the C drive and the D drive? So this C drive on my virtual machine, actually we get this storage from the Azure storage. So Azure storage is a separate service. So it is like a storage account in upcoming class. We will understand this part. Okay. 
so you can understand it in a way that there is a storage account which is managed by the azure we do not have any control on that okay and inside the storage account actually my c drive has been created okay so whenever i put my data on c drive or retrieve my data so what happen so it travel through this network path and access the data from the uh, azure storage account where my c drive has been kept okay so this is not locally available in your virtual machine it is available somewhere in the azure storage account and from there it is actually mapped here inside my virtual machine so that is the reason when i store or retrieve something it travel via this network path and if it is traveling via the network path so there will be a latency here correct so but in case of this temporary disk what happen this temporary disk we are getting it from the local hard disk of our physical server this is my physical server on this physical server i have this virtual machine this virtual machine temporary storage this piece 15.9 gb in my case from where i am getting it i am getting it from the local hard disk of my physical server where virtual machine is deployed okay so what are the what will be the impact now here you can see that if you are storing or retrieving any data that data has to travel this network path to actually go inside this storage account where exactly this c drive is located but if you store or retrieve anything from this temporary disk this will be very fast why because this is located on the local hard disk here so it is not going via the network path it is locally available immediately it will go and access it so that is the reason temporary storage is very fast compared to this storage here one thing second thing is that because this is accessing this data or sorry accessing the disk from the local hard disk so what happens whenever you stop your virtual machine i told you that whenever we stop the virtual machine resource get deallocated so what is deallocation deallocation means it will remove all of these attached resource it will remove ram it will remove the cpu it will also remove this hard disk so that is the reason whenever you stop your virtual machine the connection get disconnected here or this d drive actually has been removed the control of this local disk so in that case whatever data you had stored in this local disk here which was aligned with your this temporary storage will be lost okay second time when you start your virtual machine there is no guarantee that your virtual machine is going to be deployed in the same physical server it may deploy into the other physical server okay and in that case this particular d drive will capture the local hard disk from that physical server okay and all these are concept of the virtualization when you study about this vmware uh, courses there you will understand how actually this work in the back end there is concept of v motion uh, ha so so many concept are there in that you will understand all this thing how actually it works but for your understanding there is no guarantee when you start it next time it will start from the same server it may start from the different server and the local hard disk of that different server is going to be attached to your virtual machine so that is the reason azure says that this is a temporary disk do not save it on it anything happen on the back end you will lose your data not only start and stop let's say there is some problem with this physical server okay so what happens in the back end automatically all, all of these virtual machine will move from this physical server to the other physical server automatically this happen and this is what we learn in the course of the virtualization how to set up all this thing so already these are set up in the data center if physical server is down let's say there are 10 virtual machine in this physical server they all will move to other physical server if they are moving to the other physical server what will have the connection with this hard disk will be lost and they will consume the hard disk or for the temporary storage from the other server okay so that is the reason it is said that this is a temporary storage now in which scenario we should use this temporary storage if you are downloading something download in this uh, storage temporary storage let's say if you are forgotten to delete this one next time whenever this uh, reboot or sorry start and stop hop happens automatically it will be deleted and also this as i told you this is very very fast because it is a local disk so you can set it as a page file also okay so 
पेज फाइल वॉट इज पेज फाइल पेज फाइल मीन्स लेट से इन योर लैपटॉप देर आर फोर जी बी ऑफ रैम ओके एंड यू कैन कन्फिगर ए पेज फाइल इन योर लैपटॉप सो मीनिंग ऑफ दैट वेन एवर योर रैम विल बी फुल लाइक फोर जी बी इज ऑक्यूपाइड इन योर रैम सो सम ऑफ द पेजेस फ्रॉम योर रैम विल बी मूव फ्रॉम योर रैम टू दैट पेज फाइल सो दैट इट विल हैव सम प्लेस एंड इट कैन प्रोसेस योर डेटा ओके सो यू कैन सेट योर पेज फाइल in this temporary disk also so these are the some real time case scenario where we can use uh, our temporary disk but overall i would just wanted to highlight this part that there is a temporary disk also in it and this is how it is actually aligned in the backend